Hey y'all, so today I'm gonna be doing a video over wedding planning and everything wedding. Um, I supposed to have been did it, but I just got around to it. So here it goes. Um, so first we're just gonna start off with how I planned the wedding and the goods, the bads, advice, uh, anything you need to know about wedding. So firstly, I purchased a planner well, first I had two planners. The first one, it wasn't really detailed, so I went back and got this one from Walmart. It was like $20, I think. Um, and it has different, excuse it, because I have a lot of stuff. I have a lot of stuff in here from the wedding, but um, it just has tabs in it. The first tab is a year overview. I don't really use this tab. It just has like stickers and stuff in it. I don't know if you can see it, but it has stickers and a calendar i didn't really use that one uh the next one is wedding events so it just breaks down all the different wedding events so you can put notes in it so it has like engagement party bridal shower bachelorette party bachelor party ceremony rehearsal rehearsal dinner ceremony and reception and then i'll come back and go back through all those and tell you how we did it as well uh, the next it has vendors and uh -oh. here you can just see I have a list of vendors, their phone numbers, and then on this side it has <clears throat> excuse me, it has questions that you can ask your vendors. Um and I just jotted down notes from the different quotes and stuff I received. So like it has a cake baker, your florist, some stuff I didn't use in here because I just didn't have a need for it. Um, but the next tab is inspiration. It's not really showing up good, but this is the next tab. And it has like a color palette and decor. I mainly use Pinterest for this part, so I didn't write much in here either. Um, the next part is budget. Uh, I didn't really utilize this part because you quickly learn that once wedding is attached to anything the price just goes up so the budget just went out the window um next is the checklist this is the section that i use the most um this section was a lifesaver because it helps you stay on task and helps you make sure you're doing everything in a timely fashion and i'll go through this um one by one because that's where i'll get all my information to the, so that I can give you guys um so yeah next section is wedding party it just has I just put everybody's name phone number sizes they wear everything then the next section is guests I didn't use this one but I should have used this chart right here I don't know if you see it or not but this chart is what I should have went by because yeah i should have went by because we wasted a lot of money on food because people saying they were going to come and then come and stuff you know go by i think you can easily find this online but it's just like it says having trouble figuring out who to invite to your wedding we've got you covered so it's just a uh, it's yes or no have you talked to them in the last couple months or last year so yeah that's a good thing to go by um Next one says our wedding. I think this, I didn't really use this one. I think this is just if you need to make notes and stuff. Um, next one is wedding day. I did use this one um, to help come up with my timeline for the day and as well as for the song list. And I'll go over that in detail later too. Uh, the next tab is honeymoon. Just, we had two locations down and we just went with the one that was uh, more convenient and i'll get into all that later too and then the last part is notes so let's start from the beginning with the checklist so first you want to make sure that you announce your engagement um we did this a year prior our wedding day was 8 28 21 and I think we announced it, well, we announced the engagement right when it happened, but like a formal, nice um, engagement announcement, we did it a year before, so 820, 
82820 is when we did that. Um, and then the next one says set wedding date. So that's how we set our wedding date. And most people wonder, like, how did you choose a date? Um, we choose our date based on the 28th. We know we wanted it to be on the 28th. Um, our date first is March 28th, but March 28th we couldn't use because it just came up too fast after the engagement and I needed more time to plan. So the next 28th that was on a Saturday that was available was August 28th. So we went with it and we stuck with it. Uh, the next tab says create a wedding and engagement budget. Like I said before, we started with a budget of 10000 but you quickly learn that what well I'm not gonna some people can do it but what we wanted we weren't able to do it on the ten thousand so I'm not gonna give an exact number of how much we spent but we didn't have a budget really um because once we talked to one vendor they were charging like five thousand and so yeah yeah <laughs> Uh, next is plan engagement party. We didn't we were going to do an engagement party, but right when we were gonna have it I think the weekend before is when they shot down like everything due to COVID So we never got around to replanning it um, We were just gonna go to a restaurant a nice restaurant and everybody meet up and mingle and I was gonna do my proposals then for the wedding party but I just did them on Christmas because I was like I got proposed to on Christmas so I'll do my wedding proposals on Christmas um I think it's yeah it's in here too so I'll talk more about the proposals later um it's next is decide what type of wedding you want size style location um I knew I always wanted a big wedding and it was gonna be big anyway because my family is big his family is big big so we're gonna have a big wedding. Um, so that was the size. Style, I didn't really have a style. I just knew I wanted it to be clean, classy, which is why I implemented the formal black attire. And so let's say you have a dress code, stick with it. If they if they wanna come, they'll abide by it. If not, they ain't gotta come. Um, but most people, did do formal black. I had a couple that didn't get the memo, I guess, because they had on colors, but nonetheless, it was okay. Nobody noticed. <laughs> um, location, it was going to be in Columbus because that's where we live. And Columbus is like a meeting place for my family and his family. They both have to drive around like 45 minutes. So our center location is Columbus. Um, so we had it at the Trade Center downtown. Um, it says research ideas for ceremony and reception. Um, I think I mentioned it earlier, Pinterest. So that's where I kind of got like cake ideas and color ideas and stuff like that. So Pinterest is your main thing you want to download and search for. Um, the next one says select bridesmaids, groomsmen, and confirm participation. Um, so how we selected ours, my bridesmaids were my close friends and close friends and yeah, close friends, cousins. Um, my maid of honor was my cousin and my best friend. His groomsmen were his cousins, my siblings, his siblings, and his close friends. Um, so that's basically how our wedding party was selected. Just people we talk to on a normal basis. Um, the next one says subscribe to a wedding magazine. Oh, and I didn't mention this earlier. This is all the stuff that you need to do 12 months before your wedding day. So, sorry, I didn't mention it earlier, but 12 months. So it says um, subscribe to wedding magazines. I didn't do this because I didn't know really what it was, which I probably should have done because I think you get free stuff. But I didn't do that part, but I do suggest that you attend bridal shows because you can find some really good vendors there as well as they give out freebies. You get food, drinks. It's really nice. Um, if I have some pictures, I'll insert them in so that you all can see what I'm talking about. Um, I actually got, um, I didn't get in my, any of my vendors from the bridal show because I knew who all I wanted to do my wedding in the first place. I'd pick people we known for a long time and people from my hometown. 
but um for my dress i did get like a hundred dollars off or a percentage off because of i went to the show and um i signed up for i signed up for something and i think i won or no they had it where if you come to their booth and sign the papers and stuff you can get a hundred dollars off your dress so that's what i did um the next one says begin composing guest list I also have this folder full of wedding stuff. So my guest list, um, I started it on the night, but then it got confusing. So I just um I just made an Excel spreadsheet for my guest list because that was easy for me to keep up with. And I just put everybody's names down and how many people they had coming. So here's like a rough draft of my guest list. I don't know if you can see it really good. But it was just their name, how many coming. And then later on, I went back and added table numbers for everybody. Because um, I wanted, I knew who I wanted to sit together. But I don't even know if they went by that or not. I don't know. I wasn't there to do that part so i don't know if everybody went by their table numbers but yeah so your guest list and i had it like by last name so it's easier to read well this is my final guest list this is not the one the composing the part guest list so yeah uh pick honeymoon destination we had two destinations um either jamaica or bora bora we decided on jamaica because at the time neither one of us had flown in the airplane so Bora Bora was kind of out the question because it was far but then once I found out Jamaica had has those over the water bungalows we just went with Jamaica and it was so nice relaxing beautiful romantic everything so if you ever get the chance I highly suggest you go to Jamaica and we went to White House Jamaica we stayed at the Sandals South Coast Resort so yeah, then the next thing says order your passport for honeymoon. I had my passport already. Malik, um, he had to get his and that was the journey because like I said, everything was closing down because of COVID and everything was running slow, but it got here on time. Um, next it says research wedding rings. So here's my wedding ring. I don't know if you can see it, but um, so I actually picked out my wedding ring, but I didn't know it. Um, we had one on a trip the summer before he proposed and I was just trying on rings, just to try on rings. And I was like, oh, I like this one, not knowing that, that he was getting ready to propose and he bought that ring. Um, so that's how I got my ring. And then his ring is similar to mine's. It's gold with the diamonds in the middle. Um, we picked his out together and I just paid for it. Um, so yeah. Uh, then next says research potential venues. Um, Columbus has a lot of nice venues. They're all expensive. <laughs> but um, the only thing I didn't like about the venue is that you have to use their catering. Because I wanted my own separate catering company to come in. But it, the food was good so it wasn't too bad. But that was the only bad thing I well, not a bad thing, but that was the only thing I didn't like about the venue. Um, but everything else you could bring in, except for alcohol, too. You had to use their caterer again for that part. Um, next is research photographers. Um, we went with, uh, well, well, he's like family, so we just went with somebody we knew. And I love how he takes pictures, so I knew. No brainer, that's who I'm going with. Um, and actually, here's our wedding book. Oh, it's heavy because it's glass. The front, oh, it's heavy. The front is made of glass, but this is our wedding book. So yeah, it's really nice, great quality. So, and I'm gonna link all the vendors down below. I'm gonna put their, put their names down below. So if you see something you like or Oh, if you haven't went and watched our um, wedding video, go back and watch it and come back. <laughs> but yeah, go back and watch it and you'll see you'll see how amazing it was. Um, 
So next is nine to 12 months before your wedding day. So it says interview and hire wedding planners. Um, I was gonna get a wedding planner, planner, but then I just decided I could probably do it myself. And I think I did a really good job. Then it says begin dress shopping. I think I started shopping early and my dress, it took about five months to come back. They say you're supposed to do it way ahead of time because dresses normally take six months because you know they might not have your size in store or they may not have the color that you want in store. So you need to um, get that done ahead of time. And then you know you have to get alterations done so that gives you enough time to do all that too. Um, next thing says book venue ceremony and reception. We went ahead and booked our venue early. I think that was like the second thing we booked. The first thing we booked, I want to say, was the decorator. And then we booked the venue. Um, it says decide on wedding color palette and theme. We didn't have a theme, but the, for the colors, we went with navy blue, emerald, and plum. Um, I'll insert a picture so you can see it, how it looked. It looked really good. Um... We just went with our favorite colors. His favorite color is navy blue. Mine's is emerald green. And we did the accent color of gold. And then because we had two dark colors, I wanted a pop color. So I throw in that plum. So the, um, the guys wore navy. My girls wore emerald. My little girls wore navy. Little boys wore navy. Urshers wore navy with the plum tie. Um... The parents were wore plum and my uh hostess were wore plum. So it was just it was it was nicely put together. Um next says reserve a block of rooms at a hotel for out of town guests. I didn't do this because we didn't have many people that was gonna stay anyway. Um the only people that really got hotels was like my siblings and then like that's all I know who got a hotel. Um, my mom had rented a house downtown for the girls to stay at, so all the girls was welcome to stay there. I know they all stayed Friday night. I don't think anybody stayed Saturday night and check out was Sunday morning, so that was nice. Um, and then the guys, I think some of the guys stayed here at the house with Malik. Um, so yeah, so we didn't have to do block of hotels but i guess if you if you if you stay in one state and maybe your guests have to fly in then you would need to do that part or if it's like a long distance then you would need to do that part but i didn't have to do that part uh, it says research requirements for marriage license especially for a destination wedding i did this um you may want to just research your state city state um, look up your state all i had to do was we did marriage counseling so I took that certificate from marriage counseling house and I think we only had to pay like $15 for the marriage license and they gave it to us right then. And then I think the wedding, you get the marriage certificate signed by the officiant and then we just dropped it off when we got back from the honeymoon. And then they, uh, I think they gave it to us right then, I think. I'm not for sure. Um, so next she says meet with vendors and interview. We kind of did that. Well, we kind of did that when you go over your contracts and stuff and see like, okay, I like this. I don't like that about this vendor. Just your pros and cons. So I also have all my contracts and stuff saved and floor plans. I just keep everything. Uh, next says create a wedding website. We went with the knot.com. Um, it was easy to use and easy to easy to just um easy to use um it's simple so you put we put pictures up we put the event details up we put up the wedding party pictures and their titles and i think we also put our registry on there and i think that was all um it says order save the dates we didn't order save the dates we um we did a video instead and we just posted it on Facebook and stuff. And if you haven't seen it, I, it's uploaded as well on the page. So go back and watch it. But um, save the dates, I felt like were a waste of money because most people just get it and throw it away. So we didn't do save the dates. Um, our, 
our videographer no our our photography had a package with the engagement session and the wedding so if you can find somebody that does that that's a plus um and our videographer also had a package like that so we went with that so while we were doing our photos the videographer was also doing her video for us um so that's what that was our save the date um then on to the next thing so this is we're now in 2021 because we got engaged in December 25th, 2019. COVID came in 2020. So now we're down to the nitty gritty getting everything done in 2021. So six to nine months before, it says send out save the dates. I just told you we didn't do those. Um, interview officiants. So I was going to use my church pastor, but since covid and stuff hit he wasn't doing it so we went with my dad's best friend uh choose men's attire this took us a while because all the stores they didn't have anything that malik liked so because he wanted double breasted um that means like with the two buttons suits and nobody had those that he liked so um we had to do custom suits with Eden Miles, um, and they came out really nice. They looked really good on everybody. So the the groom, the groomsmen, and the ushers, all their suits were custom made. Um, next, it says book honeymoon, travel, and accommodations. We booked our honeymoon in February of 2021, I believe. And then we did our excursions later on that year we booked our no later a couple months later a couple weeks later we booked our excursions um it says book hotel room for wedding night so at first we weren't gonna book a hotel but then we booked the hotel and then so on the day of the wedding the night we was like let's just go home so on the way home i looked it up and i was like well they still gonna charge us so we just came home um packed our bags because we didn't even pack bags um so we packed our bags and just went back up to the hotel we stayed at hotel indigo so if you're in columbus um hotel indigo was really nice for the little time we stayed there um then next um it says reserve any rental equipment the only rental equipment we had was the chairs and the table that we sat at um I knew I didn't want chair covers for my wedding because it's kind of outdated, but so I, yeah, the chairs just give it more of a classy look. So we rented chairs and we also had a 360 photo booth. No, 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 we didn't have a 360 photo booth. We had a mirror photo booth. So it's like you look in the mirror and you press the button and it takes your picture. I had some somewhere to show you how it came out. So this is how the pictures look from the photo booth. So that was a nice touch. I think everybody enjoyed it. That was we ended up getting that because it came out right before the 360s got popular. So so yeah, we just went with a photo booth. Um. So I think that's all the rental equipment we had. Oh, we had up lighting. We rented from a company well they were there but they did the up lighting the smoke on the cloud and all cold sparklers i'll insert pictures so you can see how that turned out um it was really nice for our first dance you know dancing on the clouds and then the sparklers go up give it a big bang so yeah that was nice um next says book day of transportation for bride groom and bridal party we didn't have to do this because like i said earlier the girls stayed right down the street it was literally like three minutes from the venue and all the guys just drove their cars and we didn't do like a big grand exit so we didn't need any and then malik we would have just we just went in malik's car so um we didn't have to do that part but i do see some people getting like party buses and stuff but it wasn't a big deal for us. Um, order wedding dress and accessories. I had already did that. Um, I got it from a store in LaGrange. I think it's called An Affair to Remember. It was where I got my wedding dress. But my reception dress was custom made. Um, and it was everything. 
So yeah, um, but it, it took it took a while to make that one. So I do advise if you're getting something custom made to go ahead and get it entered as early as possible, um, just so you can ensure that it's it's back in time. Um, next, it says create wedding registries. We had three wedding registries. I think we were registered on Amazon, Macy's, and Dillard's. Um, I don't know if anybody really used the Macy's one and um, Dillard's one, but I know almost everything on our Amazon one was purchased. Um, so yeah. Then next says three to six months before select officiant and discuss ceremony we did this when we were doing our um marriage counseling we talked about the ceremony and stuff um says meet with baker to finalize cake so for the cake we had to do a at home tasting due to covid <laughs> so this is we just made it a date night and this is the notes we have from that uh so yeah so we basically she gave us one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. She gave us nine different flavors. I really don't remember the name of them all. But we just voted on, me and Malik sat down, tasted each one, voted on how did we like it on a scale from one to ten. And then that's how we came up with what flavors we would have for our cake. And I'll insert a picture of our wedding cake here. Um, so the top layer was key lime. The second layer was French vanilla. The third layer was strawberry. And the fourth layer was key lime. That was the four layers. Malik's cake was, um, the top was French vanilla and the bottom was key lime. And I had drew up this cake, how I wanted his cake, and it just came out so amazing. Um, so this is what I drew up for his cake. Let me see if I can get it to focus. That's what I drew up for his cake. <laughs> so I wanted the bottom to be a soup tuxedo just like his and it looked exactly like his and then a layer bef the top layer said gas him up which is his uh youtube instagram go follow him for all his car content and fishing and dirt bike uh four wheelers and all that but yeah so it had gas him up with the dodge symbol and then i told her to do like tire marks on it and then i had like a wide body uh challenger because that was the car he had before he switched up on me so um that was how that was supposed to be and then the top was supposed to have well the top had ps5 buttons on it so when we got there i was so amazed because i would have never thought to do the cake like that i'm gonna show you a picture but she made the top layer like tires like a tire it was it was gorgeous um so yeah, so that was how we selected our cake and flavors. Um, so yeah, make sure you make sure you try the cake um, in advance because you don't want to get to your wedding day and not like a cake. Um, so yeah, make sure you try it. Um, the next one says meet with florists to choose flowers. Um, our decorator handled all that. We just decided on white hydrinas and white roses um and then she threw in some plum roses too uh, meet with hair and makeup to discuss ideas um i already knew how i wanted my makeup i always go natural so my friend did natural makeup for me and my mom and my uh, mother-in-law and then my roommate from college drea she did all the girls makeup and everybody looked so flawless um hair the girls had sleek ponytails and I just had, uh, I think I had a sew in. I had my hair. Yeah, I had a sew in. I had a little clamp right here. It, it was very, it was nice. Um, select bridesmaids attire. So, believe it or not, um, the girls' dresses came from Shein and ASOS. Um, I bought all the girls' dresses, I think. I bought all the bridesmaids' dresses. And then the little girls, they had to buy their dresses. I got the bridesmaids dresses because I felt like it would be less, it's less of a hassle. Um, they already had a lot of expenses with hair, makeup, and stuff, and shoes. So I just got their dresses and their accessories, which was a bracelet 
and earrings. We didn't do necklace for the uh, the bridesmaids. And then the little girls, I got their robes, um, socks, <laughs> but the socks were too little, so they didn't wear the socks. So, um, but it still looked nice overall. Um, and bracelet and necklace and earring. I think that's what they had on. Um, and for the guys, Malik got their ties and socks, ties and socks. So yeah. Um, so yes, yeah, select brides made attire. Um, I would have went with the do a different style for each bridesmaid, but I felt like it would be too much. So I just found a dress that I liked on she in and I ordered one as a sample to see like the quality and it was thick. Like the quality was thick, it was nice. I was like, oh, this might work. So I ordered everybody's sizes and yeah, it looked really nice. All they had to do was get alterations to like, um, cause the dresses were super long. So they had to get them cut some or whatever, hemmed some. Um, next is, uh, provide bridal shower guest list to maid of honor hostess. Um, I had my bridal shower in June. My bachelorette trip was in May. No, my bridal shower was my my bachelorette was in June. My bridal shower was in July. Um, the girls did an amazing job with both. Um, we went to New Orleans for my bachelorette, and it was really nice. Uh, the house was beautiful. My bridal shower was decorated beautiful. They just they outdid themselves. Um, so yeah, in the guest list, I just invited like close family and friends. Cause it was back in my hometown so i know a lot of people from here columbus wouldn't travel up there so i just did a small little bridal shower but it was nice nonetheless um next is order invitations i did the invitations myself on basicinvite.com um i wanted acrylic invitations but they just cost it too much and i know people don't keep up with stuff like this no more so um I went the cheaper route and it looked really nice to me. Um, so I ordered these invites from basicinvite.com. I don't know if you can really see it. Wait, let me fix this. So this is how it looked. Uh, let's see. That don't work. Let's see. I'm gonna give y'all a good view of how it looks. Okay, yeah, that works. So this is how the invite looked. Um, it says, with great joy, Brittany and Malik cordially invite you to their wedding, 82821 at four o'clock in the afternoon, Columbus Trade Center, 801 Front Avenue, Columbus, Georgia, 31901. Reception to follow, formal black attire. Um, so I ordered these on that website and that it's really nice how they send it to you. I don't have the box or anything. Oh yes I do. I think I do. So they send everything in like this cute little envelope. Um I don't know if it focus. So they send in a cute little invite envelope and then well no, this is for programs, but the one for their wedding envelopes, it was a nice little box that they sent it in. Um and then I just went inside I went inside these ribbons on I bought from Amazon. I got navy blue plum and emerald green bows. Well, no, it was just a ribbon and I tied it in a bow. And it also came with these, uh, the RSVP cards. Please, 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 please make sure you keep up with your RSVP cards. Because you're going to want to know who said they was coming and how many people they bringing so this was the rsvp card it came with and it just says kindly reply by july 10th and then it has the check where you can put your check mark for steps with pleasure or check mark for declines with regrets and then the number of attending and it also says return card or visit website to rsvp and then it had our wedding website on it so this is so this is how it looked. Um, this is how I sent it out to guests in 
they just received it like this in an envelope with their name and the names um that website if you enter your guest list it lets you um they'll go ahead and fill out the envelopes for you which was a plus so we didn't have to write on any envelopes i think we wrote on a couple but for the most part um we just did it like that and that saved a bunch of time because we mostly did everything ourselves um as far as wedding planning sending out invites getting everything together um next says create song play do not list do not playlist um we had a well-known dj that's been in the business for a long time so i didn't feel the need to um do a playlist and do not play but i did give him like this list of songs and i'll go through it with you just in case you want to use these songs um so for the ceremony the processional i don't really know what he played um like while everybody's walking in and getting ready to come in but for the honored guest seating which was our parents hey <laughs> he played multi looking for love um when the groom and officiant insert he played you for me by johnny gill um when the wedding party insert he played spend my life with you with eric benet and i think it's tamia i think uh when the uh flower girl and my maid of honors entered daniel caesar this part was playing uh and when i entered leela james fall for you was sung by malik's friend um and if you have that recorded please send it to me i know i said no cameras and stuff but i know somebody got it because i really don't remember walking down the aisle so i would love to see that footage if you have it <laughs> Um, it says unity sand, but we actually did a cross out insert a picture. Um, you just, we got it from Hobby Lobby. You put the cross together and then you like, um, screw it with the little screwdriver thing. And we played share my life Kim for that part. Um, pronouncement of marriage. We walked out to Jagged Edge. Let's get married. Remixed, I think. Yeah. And then um it says kiss but i think we skipped over that part because it all just happened so fast um so then when you go to the reception it has a list of songs here too so for um i'm not sure what all they played during cocktail happy hour because we were taking pictures so i don't really know what he played during that um when the wedding party walked in he just played the popular song at the time and I believe it was um Surf Young Thug. I think that's what he played when the wedding party walked in and another song, but I can't remember what it was. Uh when me and the groom walked in, we list we were playing part two on the run, Beyonce and J C. Um First dance was John Legend So High. Father daughter dance was Beyonce Daddy and Mother Son dance was K Michelle A Mother's Prayer. We didn't want to go with the typical typical uh excuse me, typical wedding songs which would be uh Boys to Men, Mother and Dance with My Father. So we just selected stuff that we liked that was different. Um for the cake cutting, we did The Sweetest Love by Robin Thicke. So as we were cutting the cake, that's the song that was playing. Um, for the bouquet toss, he played Where the Ladies at, Crooklyn. Crooklyn something. I don't know. And then it changed to, when it when I threw it and they caught it, it changed to Drake Nice for what? Uh, the garter toss were done. The garter toss, he played Neo good man when he got down and got it and stuff and then when he threw it he played um ba little baby that's my dog and then as we departure he played bruno mars versace on the floor so those are our songs if you want to use them you know go ahead um so next where we was at uh draft wedding programs i highly suggest you not get in wedding programs um these were a waste of money honestly um i still have hundreds of them left but i think that could be my fault um i think they were left on the table when people walked in and they didn't know to get them but i had a program so if you want one you 
just let me know and I'll get you one because I got plenty. <laughs> but um, it just says the wedding of Brittany and Malik. This is foil. I made these on that basic invite website too. Um, so that's what this that's this came in this folder here. Um, and then they give you like a twenty percent off card um, as well. And then on the back it just has thank yous parents name and then like the bridal party and everything else um but i did see where somebody did it like um digital so if you can do a digital i highly suggest you do a digital because don't waste your money printing all these programs out and people not gonna even use them um so that's that's one downside i would say is don't waste your money on programs in my opinion um Next, we are two months before wedding day. It says mail your invitations. So we mailed out all our invitations before June 5th. That gives people two months. Yeah, roughly two months to get them back in. Um, like I said earlier, keep a record of RSVP cards because you want to make sure you know who said they was coming and who said they weren't coming. And also, if they put like a crazy number like six or seven, Please double check to make sure, like, who you inviting. Because I'm only inviting you and your significant other, but you got six or seven. So make sure you double check. Because you don't want to count somebody twice. And then you don't want people there that you don't really even know anyway. Um, so just double check those that say six or seven. And I also advise you to go back. Once all the RSVP cards came in go back the week before your wedding and just go back through and ask everybody again well no i wouldn't even say the week before your wedding whenever your catering count is due go back and redo a check of who said they was coming double check with people i didn't i just assumed if they said they were coming they were coming so we had a count of 220 and i think only i'll say 150 if that people was there um so yeah that it was a waste <laughs> but it's okay but yeah make sure you double check with people to see if they come in um because even if you cancel even if they let you know the week before you've already paid for their plate so i mean it's pointless to let you know the week of or the week before like oh i'm not gonna be able to make it because you've already paid for their plate um the next one says schedule tasting with caterer and finalize um we wasn't able to taste the food with the catering due to covid um so we were just praying that the food was good and it actually was really good um it was really good and i'll tell you what we had on our menu um if i can find it let's see So we had, um, what we had? Oh, okay. So we had cold hors d'oeuvres. I really don't know what they brought out. It says assorted finger sandwiches, chicken salad, and pimento cheese pieces. I don't know. We didn't get to see none of that. Um, it was supposed to be 100 pieces per thing. We ordered two platters or two two table things. I don't really know. But it was supposed to be a, a total of 200. So I don't know if they did that or not. Who knows. So that was served during happy hour. Um, and then our meal was a Caesar salad with crisp romaine, croutons, and Parmesan cheese, lemon pepper baked chicken breast, marinated beef tips with home style vegetables, Whipped Yukon gold potatoes, baked macaroni and cheese, broccoli casserole, fresh rose and butter, and then they had water and um they had water and tea and then we had a we had a bar side up. It was a cash bar, but we did pay a reserve um so that people could get like one or two drinks free. Um but they went through that before happy hour was over, so we should have put more towards the bar instead of catering but i mean i just took people word that they would come but i know next time <laughs> so um we added more money to the bar but then once that was over i guess i don't know i guess people start paying cash for drinks i don't really know 
because I don't drink, so it didn't bother me. Um, so yeah, back to the back to the sketch. What we get? Um, it says get gifts for attendants and parents. Um, so for parents, I gave. I ordered them on Amazon. It was this cute napkin that has a little sentimental saying for the parents. And then for the bridal party, we um, gave them gifts at the beginning with the proposals. So the girls had a um, a makeup bag that said bridesmaid or teen bride or something. A wine thing. Um, I think they had a glass that said like bridesmaids. And I want to say candy in their box. Um, the groomsmen had a shot glass, a flask, um, candy, and I think they had like a little, it was a little, little wallet tool thing you put in your wallet. Um, and then for the little kids, we did a t-shirt and candy. Um, with the t-shirts, they said like flower girl, or grooms, junior groomsmen, or whatever, all that. Um... And then it says the ten bridal shower. My bridal shower was <laughs> my bridal shower was July thirty first. Um. Then it says keep track of gifts received, send thank you notes. Okay, so I was gonna send out thank you cards, but no, I was gonna combine thank you cards with Christmas cards, but I just got we found out we were expecting, and yeah, life just happened, so I didn't get around to it. But if you got us something, we really appreciate it. And thank you so much from the bottom of our hearts. But I, I just didn't get around to sending out thank you cards. So, yeah, thank you. <laughs> um, it says draft wedding vows. We just did the regular wedding vows. We didn't do our own written vows. Um, then it says begin to plan rehearsal dinner. Um, rehearsal dinner, we did something more laid back, casual. Um, we just did it in our backyard, supposed to be, but I had it decorated really nice. I'll insert pictures to how I had it decorated. And then we went to rehearsal, and when we got back, it had stormed, so all my decorations and stuff was messed up. So we just moved it to the garage, but we had a I do barbecue. Um, so for food, we had like, um, what we had? Barbecue chicken, ribs, um, baked beans, potato salad, and I want to say macaroni and cheese, I think. So that was our menu for the, um, rehearsal dinner. Then after dinner, the girls went back downtown and then the guys stayed here. So yeah. Now we are one month before your wedding, um. So you want to draft your seating chart like I showed you earlier. Um, I had my seating chart. I don't really know if people went by it. So this was how I numbered the tables. I don't even know if the tables were numbered like this. Um, so I had the tables numbered and then by everybody's name. What did I do with it? Oh, here it is. So by everybody's name, I had their table number. If you can see it here. So I had their table number. Um, and I just grouped it by like family members that know, you know, the family members that talk the most and friends that talk the most. So that's how I did the table numbers. And I had ordered this acrylic, um, Thing that had everybody name written out but as soon as it got here that's when people started canceling and I had already put their name on it and then the people um, that did it I ordered it from uh, Etsy so it has a block that says like if you want to customize it put um, put something or put that is sent in the email and I put in the box in email tell me why they printed that on the thing so that was upsetting but i just didn't use it it's still in there in the closet so make sure if you order something custom that they understand what you're saying you want <laughs> um so then you want to apply for your marriage license we applied for our marriage license like three weeks before the wedding um 
Then it says send photo shot list to photographer. Um, we didn't do that part because he's been doing photography for a while now. So we knew he knew what he was doing. Um, the only picture that I wanted that I don't think I got was um, me with my girls with their dress on. Because, um, you know, you see the picture with the girls. The guys got a really nice picture, but the girls, I don't think we got one, but it's okay. Um, it says prepare bride and groom emergency kits. We didn't do that. <laughs> uh, break in wedding day shoes. So, I had three pair of shoes. I had my wedding shoes, my reception shoes, and sandals. I ended up wearing the sandals through all of it. And... Yeah, come to so yeah. So when I went to get my dress fitted, I had on my wedding heel shoes. And on the day of the wedding, I was like, I don't want to wear heels because I don't want to fall going down. And it was a long aisle, so I was like, I don't want to fall. So I wore my sandals, not thinking, okay, you tried this on when you had on heels. So the dress is um was measured to those heels so now that i got on flats the dress is super long in front so now i'm tripping over the front of my dress but i just had to walk real slow and i was just praying that i didn't fall all the way down um but my my reception shoes they were uncomfortable but i only took used those for pictures but i lost them or somebody stole them i don't know i don't have them so i don't know what happened to those um, and the venue was like, they haven't seen them. So yeah, somebody got my shoes. <laughs> um, next it says, um, a 10 hair and makeup trial. I didn't do any makeup trials or hair trials because I already knew how I wanted my hair and makeup. Um, it says schedule hair appointment for the grooms one or two weeks before the wedding. Um, most of the guys went to... Malik's friends to get their hair cut, so that was easy. Um, schedule nail appointments for bride and bridesmaids. I just went and got my nails done like that Wednesday before the wedding, and I don't know when the girls got theirs. All I just asked was that they get white nails and white toes. Um, I didn't care the length, and I got my normal ombre um, with a little design on this one with some diamonds and stuff. Um, so now we are two weeks before the wedding. And it says confirm reception de details. So with that, I just went through my, uh, I made a, a day of wedding day schedule, which is very important um, because you wanna make sure you start on time. And I can say we started on time. Um, it's like everything just ran smoothly. Trust me, some stuff went wrong and I'll get into that later. But you want to make sure you on time. You don't want to have people waiting. To me, that's tacky. Um, so, yeah, you want to start on time. All right, y'all. I'm back. So, I had finished the video. I was getting ready for bed. And then I found out that the whole doggone ending of the video got deleted. So, I'm just going to run back through the ending part real quick um, so I can go to bed but you want to make sure you confirm your reception details um this basically means like make sure you contact your vendors again make sure everybody know what time they're supposed to be at the venue um what everybody's supposed to be doing so everybody can be on one one accord so that your day can run smoothly um then it says call any guests who have not yet responded to invitation um, I didn't do this, but you may want to do this because some people think they, they don't have to RSVP. Um, so yeah, you just want to double check and then also double check with the people that said they were coming because they may have changed their mind last minute and you just don't want to waste any money on people that's not going to be there. Um, also, pe you'll find out that people will invite themselves, so you might have to check them on, okay, you, you weren't invited, so... Just go over your list again and make sure you got confirmations on numbers. Um, next it says confirm any changes with caterer reception venue. Um, I didn't have to do that because everything stayed the same throughout planning process. So we didn't have to make any changes with that. Um, next says rehearse your wedding vows. Um, we stuck with the traditional like I stated earlier. So we didn't have to rehearse any vows. A week before your wedding, um, you want to pick up your wedding dress. So I had to go to LaGrange to pick up my wedding dress. And then I think I did that a week before though. So my dress was with the alterations um, lady. 
and she pressed it real good for me and stuff so yeah um have grooms groomsmen and urchins pick up suits tuxedos so all the guys suits were custom so they all were delivered to our house and then malik just distributed them distribute them out or either the guys came and picked them up and then they had to go take them to get altered um next says confirm honeymoon plans start packing um we went out the country so i advise you if you're going out of the country just look up all the laws and rules that you need to um and documents you need to have to travel um also if you need a covid test make sure you get that in time um make sure you got your passport of course um but that's if you're going out of the country um locally i guess you just want to make sure you got everything you need um it says wrap gifts for the wedding party again we had already did that part give caterer final head count so i think our final head count was two i got 270 on here next says finalized seating chart give final plans to appropriate person i guess you would want to make sure you give your um seating chart to your coordinator and probably your ushers or hostess or whoever is going to be directing people when everybody comes in um then the wedding day timeline i showed you all i think i don't know if that got deleted but here it is again so this is just my draft of how i did it um from six so it was at 6 30 a.m the ladies began their hair appointments at 9 30 they began makeup 11 a.m was my makeup 12 p.m the men were supposed to meet at the trade center i'm not sure what time everybody got there because i left the trade center at after my makeup appointment because i wanted to go back to the house to get ready um well i just put on my gown thing that i was gonna wear up under my robe um and then i got stuck at the house because it was raining and i didn't want to mess up my hair and makeup so makeup so i had to wait to rain out um then the vendors began setting up at 1 p.m um and i also got my hair done at 1 p.m so i guess i left after i got my hair or maybe this is an old schedule i don't know but you can just go buy it or just use pieces from it if you like how it flows um 2 p.m the photographer and videographer arrived 3 p.m happy heart mirror set up so that was the people that did the photo booth they went ahead and signed up ahead of time um, just so they don't interrupt, you know, you don't want to interrupt somebody's wedding. Um, the wedding started at 4, and I'm pretty sure we started right at 4, or it was like maybe 4.05-ish or 14-ish, but it wasn't no 30, 40 minutes wait. I think it was maybe 5 to 10 minutes, if, if that. Um, so, yeah, just make sure you're on time. I don't know how, many, how much I can stress it. Just make sure you're on time um 4 30 we did the cocktail hour which was from 4 30 to 5 30 and we was taking our wedding photos while everybody was mingling and stuff the first dance and the call-ins was at 5 30. dinner started at six i think it really started at six um 7 45 is around when we cut the cake and did the garter toss and the bouquet toss and all that good stuff um, 9 o'clock p.m. it says the dance party but I think the dance party started before we even the dance party started basically after dinner because <laughs> my mom came to me she was like we ready to dance so that started earlier than I thought um sparkler send off started earlier too I had 10 and I think it started at 9 and basically after everybody did the sparklers they all kind of went their own separate ways um and then the reception ended around like 10 ish 10 something so that gave the vendors two hours to get all their stuff up and get it out in time which was great um because anything after 12 that was gonna charge me if people were still moving out <laughs> so that was just my timeline you do yours the best way you think is for you um and you know how much time you need to do this and do that so you just do it based on you but that that's what worked for us um next you just want to confirm all your wedding day appointments hair makeup again just just always confirm everything to make sure everybody's on one accord um so everything can run smoothly um 
and then it says assign day of task to appropriate people. I think the only thing I had to assign was um, I gave my hostess the guest list that morning and kind of went over with like how I thought it should run. Um, and I think that was it. And then at the venue, we had dressing rooms. So we assigned the girls key to my maid of honor best friend and the guys keys. I think she had the guys too, because you just, so we know where they were. <laughs> um, then the day before your wedding, it says nail appointments, but I got my nails done. I think that Thursday, um, then it says attend wedding rehearsal and rehearsal dinner. We did that on Friday. So we basically um, went to rehearse. Rehearsal didn't take long. Um, our coordinator was very prompt and made sure everybody knew what we need, knew what they needed to be doing on the day of. And I'll insert a picture of us practicing. Um, but it went it went by smooth. Um, and then after that, we just came back to our house, and that's where we had our rehearsal dinner. Um, this says drop off ceremony decor accessories to the ceremony site i didn't have to do that well i did have to drop off um just little the programs and the stuff that i had ordered for the wedding so i just had to drop off my programs um and i dropped off the cake plate and the other i was gonna drop off the plate that we broke but it didn't make it in so yeah and it says give attendants thank you gifts. We didn't do thank you gifts. I guess this is favors. So for the favors, we did treats and I'll insert a picture of those. So those were our favors. And then also the photo booth, it printed out the photos instantly. So they were able to take those home with them. Um, and that's, I think that's, that's what we did. So that was good too. Um, and then wedding day, it just says hair and makeup, of course, have honeymoon wedding night luggage ready. Um, we had our honeymoon luggage ready. We didn't have our wedding night luggage ready because, like I said earlier, it was last minute. Um, give rings to best man made of honor. Please, please, please give them the rings and make sure they know where it's at because you don't want to get up there at the altar and they be searching for it. Just They need to have it in their hand. And once the pastor or whatever officiant say, the, the rings, they need to be handing them to them. Because um, you just don't want to give people nothing to talk about. <laughs> um, then it says marriage license. Please make sure you have your marriage license. Um, I don't know what would happen if you don't have it. I guess you would have to like delay the process of getting the official one, I guess. Um, so, yeah, that was the checklist um, by months, weeks. As you can see, I have lots. Okay, I have lots of stuff written down for my checklist. It, it was just a lot. Planning can be stressful, but um, if you're organized and like to stay like ahead of the game and on top of things, you'll do great at planning your own wedding. I thought I, I thought I, well, I knew I could do it, but at some points I was like, I'm over it. But everything turned out really nice, and we had a really good time. Um, so, yeah, if you're planning your wedding, I highly suggest you go for it. Um, so, yeah, and then it also has, okay, I just dropped everything. It also has wedding day um, reminders. It says, don't forget your marriage license, of course. Make sure all vendors have a copy of the wedding day timeline and are clear about their roles. That's very important. Be sure to have the tips for vendors and envelopes ready to go. Consider putting someone else in charge of distributing them. Hmm. Practicing your vows out loud. Be sure to wear a casual button down shirt for hair and makeup. So for hair and makeup, like I said, I wore my, like a, um, it was kind of like a slip gown. Um, and then once my hair and makeup was done, I put on the long, extra roll so that's how i got ready um don't forget to bring your after wedding honeymoon bag let go of the details and enjoy the day it goes by too quickly that one i highly yeah recommend that reminder um so yeah that was um basically all i have for the wedding planning 
um if you have any more further questions just comment them down below and i can do a part two um and go into more details if i didn't go into details enough um my video getting deleted deleted kind of just threw me off so i hope i didn't repeat anything twice or leave something out um so yeah if you enjoyed this video like like it um comment subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video